Welcome back to lesson 4.3 Working with Swatches Part 2 Here we will learn how to create custom swatches, create group swatches and how to edit swatches. First let's see how to create custom swatches. First thing you need to do is choose the color that you want. The easiest way to do is look at the color panel here use the color picker and choose the color you want to create color swatch you can choose any color you want for example let's choose dark green then go to swatches panel click new swatch button that will show new search dialog box you can set the name and color type here let's give custom color 1 and choose the color type to process color and color mode to CMYK click OK now your new swatch will appear in swatch panel here is our new custom swatch. Now let's create a color group in swatches panel using our image. For this lesson, we will use this vector image I have already created. Let's move this image here on our document window. Click swatches panel, select the image, then then click new color group from searches panel then we can see a new color group dialog box we can give our custom name let's give put down and click ok then you will see your new group of searches in your searches panel grouped together for easy reference so this is how we create color group in swatches panel now let's create a pattern in swatches panel first let's create a pattern of this image select this image and make multiple copy of this image then select all the images Go to object, pattern and click make. Then this will show a warning message saying that the new pattern has been added to the swatches panel. Click OK. Then here in pattern option, we can give our custom pattern name. Here let's give the term pat1. Then we can select the title type to create. Let's click done here. Now you have new pattern in your searches panel. We can use this pattern in on any object. So let's create some text here. Let's write some text here. Let's write swasek. Let's change fill color of this text with our newly created pattern. Select this text and click on our newly created pattern click here and we can see that the fill color is changed with our newly created pattern once you have created a new set of swatches you can save the swatches to save the swatches click on small drop down arrow on top of the swatches panel here and choose save swatch library as AI then you can give the file name let's give put down swatches then we can save somewhere in desktop save then when you open a new document you can load your saved swatch swatches First, let's run the swatches panel. 
here in this swatch panel we don't have our custom swatches created earlier we don't see our pattern and the group created also to load our swatches saved you can click on this drop down arrow then go to open swatch library click other library and you can navigate your saved swatches let's go to desktop and we have saved our swatches here here in our button swatches panel we have our pattern created earlier we also have the group we have created earlier so we can use this swatches panel panel whenever we want to use so this is all about how to work with swatches in Adobe Illustrator